The first stage of aerobic respiration is actually glycolysis, and this took place in the cytoplasm producing pyruvate. This stage is actually anaerobic, but to continue with aerobic respiration, the pyruvate produced from glycolysis enters the matrix of the mitochondrion through active transport. The first reaction to occur there is called the link reaction. In this reaction, pyruvate is converted to acetyl-coenzyme A, abbreviated as acetyl-CoA. During this process, pyruvate is first decarboxylated, and this produces CO2. It is then oxidised, which causes the reduction of NAD+, that's our electron carrier, to NADH. Those reactions produce an acetyl compound, and this is then attached to coenzyme A in order to produce acetyl coenzyme A. It is important to remember that during glycolysis we produce two pyruvates, and therefore for every molecule of glucose we're going to go through the link reaction twice. This produces two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A, two CO2s, and two NADH. As a reminder, this is all happening in the matrix of the mitochondrion. And once we've produced our acetyl coenzyme A, it is this molecule that then moves forward and enters the next stage of aerobic respiration known as the Krebs cycle.